All right, there's the judges. All right, gentlemen, we have two Warhammers here that are virtually even test-wise. So let's dig into the details a little bit more. Doug. Craig's Warhammer here is a beautiful work of art. I can fight with it single-handedly and carry the shield or other weapons. Or if I needed more power and more control to flip, Ruran, I can use it with both hands. On the kill test, it performed quite well. If that was done on a person without armor, it would have crushed the ribs and pierced through the body, killing that person. Dave. When I swung this against the granite, uh, there was a great deal of energy that I was able to create just without really winding up and taking a huge hit. But what I liked most about it was the fact that I could control it. Jay, what do you think? Well, the overall construction is great. And I like the fact that he properly heat treated this. There's a quench line on the pick and the same on the hit. You've got a shock absorber. It looks like his metal is separating here at the corner. Is that what's happening? Oh, yeah. You're right. Looks like we got some debate going on in there. Yeah, you can kind of pick it up where it goes into the channel. I think going up against granite stones, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to do some damage on oh, yeah. anything. Oh, yeah. Let's move on to Jeff's weapon. Dave? Well, it's a work of art. You know, smithing out these horns, attaching them the way he did to create Langer the way he did with this. Two issues with this weapon, though. When I was attacking the wooden door, one of the Langer blew off. They're looking at the handle guards that fell off. Oh, the language, yeah, yeah, <sighs> yeah. The other thing is, is once you start swinging this, you're not going to stop it. Right. But all in all, like I said, an absolute work of art. It's basically a bigger caliber weapon than Craig's. Right. It performed better in terms of more damage on all our tests. But when I did test it on the kill test, another lingerie came off. And it's beautiful to look at. It's beautifully done. There is marring on the face of this Warhammer. It did have smaller surface area to hit. The head of this might not be as hard as I would have liked, but overall, it's a great piece. So they performed almost identically. They both have structural flaws. Which one of these weapons is the Forged and Fire Champion? Doug, have you made a decision? Yes, I have. Dave? Yeah, definitely. Jay? Yes. Let's go tell our bladesmiths. I know I need to make a move. I got a big concern right here with Jason. He does not have a glove on. I'm more concerned about my blade than I am burning myself. He's going to burn his hand. Oh, no. He just burned the heck out of his hand. 